make it look more cartoony, uh, AI, AI. This is Miyu, definitely Miyu. Miyu is so pretty. And then they're making her into a fair maiden, princess in the clouds. Beautiful. It looks beautiful. Wow. Welcome to the Bookbook. Book. Glad you took a look. What is this K-pop trucker delivering to you today? Limelight is back, sort of, kind of. I uh, they turned the lights off of Limelight and now it's Maiden. I, let's give Limelight the recognition. Why? Uh, they shine so bright. Put the Limelight back on Limelight. There we go. Um, I don't understand the name change and the re-debut. Uh, I was already invested in Limelight. I was going to be there no matter what because they were rumors they tried to hide, but it was obvious that Mashiro and Yeso were going to join after Kepler, and that's a problem. <laughs> uh, Girls Planet, Bora was my number one, Mashiro was number two, and then so she was biased of Kepler, and then Yeso was Wrecker, and they kind of flipped around. And then I got invested in Limelight, loved those girls, and then add those two. It's going to be a stacked powerhouse group. I <laughs> I don't know if this name change re-debut has to do with the, the limelight backlash or the 143 backlash for breaking up Kepler. Y'all got to stop thinking emotionally and, and start thinking logically for business points. So you got these companies, they loan their trainees to these survival shows. So Mnet and Wake One have control and they have Kepler, and they're making their revenue off of Kepler, and these these idols' popularity goes, and then they, after the two and a half year contract, the companies get the members back, and they can use them to start their own group with that popularity, and they did. And then Mnet goes like, we know you invested money and time and already debuted Limelight in anticipation of, of Yashiro, but you know what? We want to extend that contract so we can make more money off of your idol. And somehow 143 is the bad guys here for breaking up. Yeah. No, blame Eminem and Wake One. It's great that they want to keep Kepler longer. But changing it up at the last minute and then blaming 143 when they already had plans? No. But we have Maiden. Uh, I'm wondering if the name has a double meaning. Uh, Fair Maiden? Uh, like the girls are fantasy story and the the dark prince or the knight in shining armor has to sa save her. Uh, like Limelight has never had that kind of concept of a elegant fantasy kind of thing. Uh, I'm not saying they can't change it up, but Maiden. I believe it's like made in survival shows. Um, every one of them that were in a survival show besides got gotten. And she's not the she's not the Machne anymore. And it's hard to believe Yeso is not the Machne. This is Yeso's fourth group she's in. So we have these seven members that were formed in the survival shows. Three Koreans, four Japanese, and they sing in Korean. And we have a title that is Spanish. Uno. One, four, three... Uno Maiden. Is that a mailbox in the middle of a field? Or is that a birdhouse? Mishiro. No, it's a mailbox. In the middle of a field. Oh no. Oh no. Let, no. 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 Yeah, cover up their faces because I. I I gotta know who they are. So. No, I, I just need to know the two other ones. Uh, uh, Nagomi and S Serena. Uh, I'll get to know them. Uh, but. <laughs> so maybe this is a fair maiden kind of concept. I, the opening sound is a little fantasy esque. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. So. <laughs> 
Lucembo just had a comeback yesterday with Go One, and the, the group that got her into K pop was Oh My Girl. And then on the ground, uh, on the right, is Suhya. Her all group is Oh My Girl. And Oh My Girl is in, a, in, the, in the midst of an amazing comeback right now, which is a fantasy esque kind of older style that they do. And like this, this, uh, this reminded me of Megusta 2 vibe uh, of G Friend. Just all in the same kind of schoolgirl outfit in a field. And oh my girl kind of had that concept too. Or maybe there was a castle right here. And it's gone. All is left is a mailbox from a castle. And. I, I uh, oh, so then we're cute kind of concept. Cute. And Shiro. Yes, so. we're doing modern. We're doing modern, but then. The oh my girl. Nagomi, I think. Suya. Ooh. Uno, dos. Yes, yeah, so is like. Just, she looks like a fair maiden, just a beautiful princess. And there's our our kingdom, our queendom. I, uh, hold hold up, hold up. I don't think that that that's not yes so. That's is that me you? That me you is our fair maiden. She is the beautiful princess. Is that Yeso? Or is that Miyu? Or is that one of the new ones? No, that's that's Yeso. That's Yeso's smile. I they're all glamour up. What is this? Is flowers? Fair maiden? They're really going for that fair maiden beautiful princess vibe. And then you have this. That seriously looks like AI. That, unless that's the new one, uh, Serena. That seriously looks like AI. Wow. Not saying that they, I mean, take their own idol and put it in a computer, a computer motion, and make it look more cartoony. Uh, AI. AI. Okay, okay. Okay, this is Miyu, definitely Miyu. Miyu is so pretty. And then they're making her into a fair maiden, princess in the clouds. Beautiful, it looks beautiful. Wow. I'm just, this is definitely Miyu. Is this Miyu again? This looks like the one that was laying back in, in the flowers. Or is this the Serena? Yeah, this is Suki. Wow. They're okay. Okay, we're we're taking our idols and making them AI. Or are they doc, doctoring? Do, uh, making it look real? And AI? Animated? I don't know. that. This is creepy. Creepy, trippy. I, I don't know. Are, are we following... Uh, was it novice navis the ai group new group of of espa or i don't i don't know what this is. is it espa are is it going to be espa singing as ai i don't i don't know i don't care that's trippy i that one looks scary ai it's a close-up we got a, like a russian kind of city then 
The architecture of it. Wow, Miyu. Miyu is a princess. See, see, they went, okay, Sylvia. Now who's that? I don't know. Are they gonna make Mashiro into AI? There we go, there's our G-friend dancing in the field. Doesn't sound like G-friend. Now who's that? I don't know. Oh, that was God. Okay. I'm just waiting for for Mashiro's AI. Ooh. Hey, now we're like on a stage, like the the survival shows. Was that her past, or is that somebody else? This is just trippy. I don't know what's going on. Mashiro! Why do they count to eight when there's only seven members? Where's the Mashiro? Oh, she's just dreaming. Good. We're not really AI. AI is not taking over. Oh, she's thinking about a guy. What? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What is... Oh, boy. To be continued. Oh, boy. Who no. Is the next song going to be those? And those flowers? No, there's a yellow flower right here. What... Are these clouds? Broken up clouds? You know what these looks like? These bricks? They look like feta cheese. When you crumble up feta cheese. That Yeah, that's gotten in the water. Save her! Somebody say why letting her swim. I think that's not Gomi. Yeah, he, here's our real AI uh, Mashiro. She's not a fair maiden. But she is the one that's dreaming, dreaming of this fantasy world, and she's the one flying in that shot to that Russian fantasy city in the clouds, and the roadway to there is piano keys. <laughs> what is this? Hey, well, then they have musical notes flying around. Miyu is already pretty. Miyu is already really pretty. And then add this, make her a fair maiden, little AI cartoony, fair maiden. I thought it was just maiden, thinking it was going to be that, it was a joke. But they're they're playing on that. They're maidens, they're fair maidens. They're beautiful. I don't know, but in, I mean, it is kind of an innocence. And they're still doing the, the maid in Made in the survival shows. I, made, well, made in. Yeah, now it's like we're made in the computer. We're AI. We're mixing anime, just animated. Made, I, I don't know if they did the, uh, what that, uh, motion capture where, where you, it was a replica, where you make yourself in, uh, an action figure or, Make yourself a video game character. So the music like this. Well, the chorus, the hook, uh, was more of a dance. I kind of took me out of it. Uh, well, the music video is already a trance. And then you have a kind of dance beat to it, even more so. I like the, the, the counting. I like that flow. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. But why ocho? You have siete girls. Only seven is... So you have the, the siete niñas. And then all together you are one. So that adds eight. But everything else beside the chorus. I like that sound. It had that soft fantasy s kind of sound that really fit this. The detail in this. The, wow. 
hey, if, if we're sticking with this fair maiden concept lore, whatever we're doing that, I'm all on board. I I think this is beautiful. If we can have a kind of, oh my girl, fantasy, dreamy kind of concept. Oh, I, I but I guess musically, maybe my least favorite limelight slash maiden um, um, song, but probably the best music video. Absolutely beautiful. But thank you for trucking with me. Likey, likey. Subscribe, subscribe. Onion. Mm -hmm.